Greetings, dear students, dear friends from Africa, Africans, and Afro descendants. Today, we're talking about Africa. And as you know it, in the United Nations, we have six regions today the North, the South, East, West, Central, which are the traditional regions. But they have added the diaspora because it is very important not only in its number but also due to the financial support that they sent to Africa and also that the diaspora support that they sent to Africa is very important than the public health support. What do I need to talk about here? Because we see that African societies do metamorphosis and African youth has dramatically changed within time. How? The youth are now more politicized but unfortunately not well supported because the level, uh, the rate of unemployment is very high. But they are very connected and these youth do not tolerate what their forefather us went through. Why and how? African societies, when we talk about Africa in general and how they have taught it and how they talk about it in history books, is that this Africa starts only from the uh, trade, black trade, and colonization. We all know well that Africa, according to our own references, we have to know this, and we know it, and we have to teach it, that our roots went back as far as our forefathers' civilizations of course, with the, uh, the beginning with the pharaoh from Egypt, the Meroe, the UP, the Napata, the uh, Congo Kingdom. We also have the Songhai Kingdom, the Tumbuktu, the Mali Empire, the Zulu Empire, the, Ga the Ghana, the Kao, the Lunda Empire, and so forth. And when we look at all these histories, we, we go beyond what we have been taught, meaning we go up to 4th and 5th century, well documented. It is not only about the Berlin Conference, because Africa was not born at the Berlin Conference. So we need to take possession of our past to better create our future. Why am I saying this? We need to change the status of victims imposed on us of those who need help and assistance to that one of fully actors of their own histories and development. It is our African responsibility and particularly African youth to change the, cur the current course of things with the willingness to give to our countries an economy which is created, which creates wealth and employment. We are capable to do that because the continent, and when I'm talking about the continent, I'm talking about our black world and Afro descendants have all the, com the competencies in all domains, domains, intellectual, economics, artistic, government organizations, religious organization, national and international organizations, syndical, all with no doubt have to play their role collectively or individually. We have several assets for a 
change which brings hope and sustainable development. What do we need then? We need to ask real questions and fight real battles. Let's think about our own development with an approach which does fit our own cultures, which does fit our ancestral values, which are universal values that we are proud of, and also that one which fits our progressive society development looking at our past so that we can get to concrete results with global innovative, innovative solutions. We can do this together with you, youth. Like you said, it, we need to change our software. We seek to be in charge of our own destiny, to master our present and build the future. The biggest asset we have in Africa is its youth. It's you. We will all work together toward its enrichment. So I'm telling you today, let's try, let's try, let's try.